Hi, welcome to TGN YouTube channel. Today we are unboxing something new from Synology. All right, it's the E10G30 T2. All right, so it's the latest 10G RJ45 uh, PCIe 3.0 adapter from Synology. Okay, and as usual, it comes with five years warranty, and of course, it's also backward compatible from 10G to 1G. So it doesn't mean that you definitely have to have a 10G switch to use it. You can also use it with the 1G switch and then upgrade down the road as you upgrade to 10G network. Now, one of the two good things about being a T2 is that it has two RJ45 ports where you can do link aggregation or especially when you need a NAS to go high HA, high availability, and you need to have the fastest port speed to be your heartbeat. Like I mentioned earlier, FIRES warranty for the NIC card and IC card, all right? So let's go and open up the unit and let's see what's inside, all right? So this is the latest update from Synology for the NIC card and it's something very, very new. So I'm very, very curious about it as we are all moving towards the next pinnacle of uh, network where we are all chasing after 10G speed, okay? So this is a unit itself. Of course, you can also use it in both the desktop NAS and also the rack mount. So there is also the high rise for your RS. Okay, so you have to change that. And let's open up and see. Okay. Right, so this is the unit itself. It has a heat sink uh, as per the previous model, which is the E10G 18-T2. Right. So this is the latest model from Synology with two RJ45 backward compatible 10G and 1G. Okay. So this is where you will mount it on either uh, RS822, uh, okay, uh, 1221 Plus, and so on and so forth. They are all compatible, all right? And if you have, let's say, a DS182, uh, 1823, or 1821, or 1522, 1522 does not use this, okay? 1522 use the Mini, and it's not this car. Okay? Take note of that. Right, so inside, it also has the high res for you when you are using it on the larger NAS like the 3.6 or the 4.0 and so on and so forth where they, they require high res. This would be the low res where you will use it for the DS18, um, 24, 36 and also you will use it for the RS um, 822, 1221 plus. All right, these are the models that use the, the low res. Okay. So this is the card itself. If you have any questions, comments, please feel free to write and then we will reply you. And don't forget to like my video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.